Now we are going to solve this nice radical problem. We have to find the value of x if square root of x plus square root of x minus square root of 1 minus x is equal to 1. What we have to do is we just take this term here square root of x minus square root of 1 minus x to the left hand side and take a square root of x to the right hand side so it becomes minus square root of x. Okay, now to remove this square root, we have to squaring on both sides. So we will do this now, squaring on both sides, square root of 1 minus square root of x, the whole squared is equal to 1 minus square root of x, the whole square. So this square root and this square get cancelled. So we have x minus square root of 1 minus x is equal to we have to square this a minus b the whole square formula we have to apply a square minus 2ab plus b square we have to use it here. So a here is 1, 1 squared uh, minus 2 times a here is 1, b here is square root of x plus square root of x the whole square. This square root, this square get cancelled. So x minus square root of 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus 2 times square root of x plus x. And here this positive x and positive x get cancelled. So what is the left out term? Square Negative uh, square root of 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus 2 times the square root of x. Again, to eliminate this square root, we have to squaring on both sides. So again, squaring on both sides, minus square root of um, 1 minus x, the whole square is equal to 1 minus 2 times the square root of x, the whole square. Here this negative, because of this square, this negative becomes positive and this square root and this square get cancelled. So 1 minus x is equal to, again you have to apply a minus b the whole squared formula, 1 square minus 2 times 1 times 2 root x plus 2 root x the whole square. Okay, so we have to apply the square root here. So 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus 4 times the square root of x plus 4 times x because 2 squared is 4, square root of x is x. So we have to collect the terms here. Uh, 1 minus x, you take this, uh, this uh, minus 1 and this 4x, this side. So minus 1 minus 4x is equal to minus 4 times the square root of x. This plus 1 and minus 1 get cancelled. So minus 5x minus x minus 4x is minus 5x is equal to minus 4 times the square root of x. These two terms, this minus, sorry, this minus minus get cancelled, not 4. This minus minus get cancelled. Now we have to square, remove the square root. We have to squaring on both sides. So 5x, the whole square is equal to 4 times the square root of x, the whole square. So 5 squared is 25 and uh, x squared is x squared is equal to 4 squared is 16 and uh, square root of x, the whole squared is x itself. Okay, so 25x squared minus 16x is equal to 0 or otherwise we can write this to be this side 25x squared minus 16x is equal to 0. So take x outside we have 25x minus 16 is equal to 0. So product of two terms is equal to 0 implies uh, either at least 1 should be 0. So x is equal to 0 or 25x minus 16 is equal to 0. So here uh, this term is equal to, so this is equal to 1 uh, solution and this is uh, here from this the value of x is 25x uh, is equal to 16 or x is equal to 16 over 25. This is another value for x. Now we have to check this values in our problem. What is our problem? Square root of x plus square root of x minus square root of 1 minus x is equal to 1. This is our problem. So we have to 
check our first uh, substituting x is equal to 0 here uh, 0 square root of 0 plus square root of 0 minus square root of 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 square root of 0 is 0 plus square root of uh, 0 minus square root of 1 minus 0 square root of 1 square root of 1 is 1 is equal to 1 or otherwise here we have uh, uh, 0 plus square root of minus 1 is equal to 1 or square root of minus 1 is equal to 1. This is not possible. So, x is equal to 0 is not a solution. Okay. Now, we have to check for another solution. x is equal to 16 over 25. So, square root of 16 over 25 plus square root of 16 over 25 minus square root of 1 minus 16 over 25. 5 is equal to 1 or otherwise this can be written as square root of 16 over square root of 25 plus square root of 16 over 25 minus square root of take the LCM here just multiply 25 minus 16 over 25 is equal to 1. What is square root of 16 that is 4 over square root of 25 is 5 plus square root of 16 over 25 minus here 25 minus 9 is sorry 25 minus 16 is 9 isn't it yes over 25 is equal to 1 or otherwise this is 4 over 5 so this term can be written as 4 over 5 plus square root of here 16 over 25 minus 3 over 5 is yes. 16 over 25 16 over 25 minus 3 over 5 is equal to 1 or 4 over 5 plus square root of 16 over 25 minus we have to make this this is also 25 then we can take the LCM so for that you just multiply on both sides is equal to 1 without changing the value so we have 4 over 5 plus square root of 16 over 25 minus 15 over 20 5 is equal to 1 or 4 over 5 plus square root of 16 minus 15 over 25 is equal to 1 or otherwise 4 over 5 plus square root of 1 over 25 is equal to 1 or we have 4 over 5 plus Oh, 1 square root of 1 is 1 over square root of 5 is 5 is equal to 1 or 4 plus 1 over 5 is equal to 1 or 1 is equal to 1. So x is equal to uh, 16 over 25 is the correct solution for the given problem. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.